Mariano Rivera. A 16 pitch, three up, three down. All-star game finale for Mariano Rivera. How many people in any walk of life can you say that about? 0-2, two out, ninth inning Yankees up 6-4. Rivera sets and deals. Strike three, ball game over, Yankees win, and it's perfect because the greatest closure in history now has the most saves in history. Good morning. You're listening to the WICR Morning Show here with me, P. Considori, and Ken Reichman. Today we got Big Shot Rob, producer Big Shot Rob, in the studio with us today. You can listen to it live on Ustream.com and live through cc5.com in the Sports Vault um, Fridays from 2 to 3 with Jersey Joe. He'll be our producer tomorrow morning at 9. You can also be listening to us live on Ustream.com and live through 65.com by searching WICR. Like us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, everything. Just like us on That's everything. That's enough, Pete. Jeez. Hey. Leave him alone. Well, They're just was... waking up. All right. Well, they got to wake up right. How do you get a right. nickname like Big Shot? Because I want one like that. Your Big Shot Ken. You're, Ken, big you're, Ken? you're Kenny Kelp, as in Kenny acting. Kelp. Yeah. All right, that'll work. Kenny Kelp. For now. <laughs> All that'll right, so we got, we got a great show coming up for you. We got some news, uh, world news, sports, weather, maybe some traffic. Traffic? Not too much today. There's Not a traffic too, report. Not too much. <laughs> Good. All right, so news stories here. Airline warning about shoes. The government has now started to warn airports to look at people's shoes before people going on flights. You know, I thought this was new. I feel like everyone was checking shoes at one point, especially after 9-11. That was yeah, I, I think, I guess they're just restressing the fact that you should uh, be checking shoes before people get on the flights. Uh, they, you know what? The weirdest part to me is that the, they keep saying that there's been no specific threat um, about shoes or something like that. But I guess they're just really emphasizing the fact that they want you to check shoes before people go on plane. Oh, yeah, I have nothing against it. Um, I just didn't think it was anything new. Yeah, I didn't know they, yeah. they stopped. Yeah, I didn't think they did either, but I haven't gone anywhere in a long time. Well, well, there's no threat, but the government wants airports to start checking people's shoes in case of any possible right. terrorist threats, as, as we work. said. Uh, shoes are being checked for possible shoe bombs. Um, I, we had a shoe bomber, didn't we, at one point? That yeah. made a national scare. Yeah, we got scare. all sorts of bombers. We got underwear bombs. Yeah. We got... <laughs> We got everything. We got everything. Jeez. So, uh, Rob, tell us about the Ukraine. What's going on over there? So last night with the Ukraine, um, they had reached a truce, Pete, and the truce was that the protesters were going to stop. The government wasn't going to attack. Right. And then this morning I wake up, and first thing I check, and the fires were starting. 20 protesters were dead as a fight broke out, and the truce already ended. And I can't believe it just ended after a couple hours. Yeah, and, and just to jump in really quickly, CNN just sent me a, a little push alert here. Mm -hmm. About 100 killed, 500 hurt in violence in Ukraine 100? since this morning. This morning, 100 people killed 100 since this morning. killed, 500 hurt in violence in Ukraine since this morning. So 80 more people. That's crazy. Than what? Wow. Yeah, that's yeah. You know, we were talking about the story yeah. yesterday, and it's devastating. But a hundred people in in a morning. It's not even nine o'clock. It's crazy. Well, it's nine o'clock here. Yeah, I don't know yeah, what the time is over there, but over still, Ukraine. yeah, no, in one I, day, crazy, absolutely, and especially after the the truce situation that we just had. Yeah, I thought that would just end. They'd be like, all right, we got a truce. Let's figure this stuff out. Obviously not. I mean, we've seen uh, many protests backfire in, yeah. in a bad way, unfortunately. Yeah, and it looks like this is one of them. Yeah, this is definitely something to be looked at. Crazy. Um, to go on a different, completely different route, <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> okay, yesterday Facebook bought a new app. They spent nineteen billion dollars on the WhatsApp app. Hmm. Um, I believe it's a messaging app. Yes, Rob. Um, WhatsApp is one of the biggest. Oh, messaging apps. Okay. Uh, Facebook continues to thrive after buying this app. Um, you think they had enough? Well, you never have enough. You never have yeah. enough. But, you know, with with Facebook, I feel like you got people's lives pretty much. <laughs> I mean, people procrastinate on Facebook 24-7. Yes. Uh, I, I feel like Facebook really made the meaning of procrastination brought into the cyber world. <laughs> um, yeah, but, that, I mean, Facebook is it's its own thing, you know? it's It's got its own kind of drive. Oh, yeah. And I like it. Definitely. Um, again, going in a totally different Thing. Again, two security guards were found dead uh, on the ship uh, Maersk, Alabama. Uh, this was the ship that this was the ship that was attacked in 2009 by Somali pirates. 
Uh, this was the same ship from movie Captain Phillips. Obviously, the the great Captain Phillips, hmm. what uh, he went through. Interesting. Uh, the cause of the deaths will be found out later this week. Okay, leaving us with a cliffhanger. Leaving us with a cliffhanger. I mean, that's not the way yeah. to end a movie. But. I know. Well, I mean, I guess th- that ship just got some bad muju over it. M- muju? What's the, it's muju? Mo- mojo? No, not mojo. Voodoo. No. Muju? Thinking like muju. 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 See what happens here, Rob? It's got bad show. muju. <laughs> so what happens on a Thursday morning with Ken Reichman. Yes. Kenny Kelp, everyone. Kenny Kelp. <laughs> it's getting the end of the week, man. Of course. Yeah, really? end of the week, everyone. It's very early. It's about 9.19 here at uh, New Rochelle. I own a college. Gail should be waking Gail should be waking up bright and early to wakey, be doing wakey, their, uh, their 8 o'clock classes, yes. which I just despise. Well, yeah. yeah if they need to get rid of that. If you're waking early. up now for your 8 o'clock class, you're a little late. A, l- a little late. Uh, you probably won't even go to your 8 o'clock class. You probably missed it. No, yes. you, you definitely missed it. Yes. Um, but I saw something very interesting, and since we're talking about the topic, uh, that that a uh, group of doctors, scientists, whatever whatever you have you, um, they said that the brain is not capable of really retaining much mm. until after 10 a.m. Well, my brain's not capable of much <laughs> before or after 10 a.m. Yeah, in general, my yeah. brain is not, yeah. But... I just find that very fascinating that doctors and scientists are saying, listen, the brain is not awake and capable of doing that anything crazy. at 10 a.m., yet we have 7.45 starts for high schools, and we yeah, have... Yeah, but you know what? You don't want to be there all day. No, you I... don't let these people get home. No, no. I agree. They shouldn't have classes, But do though. you agree? <laughs> but do I agree? That's a good question. I because do... what are you going to do? Are you going to have, cl- you gonna have uh, high school start at noon? No, I think that you should have the fun, like... The maybe, fun? Yeah, the fun. Like P.E. It's school. Art. No, like the fun classes. Not like the... They're academic in a sense, but not the, like, hardcore, okay, you have history at 8 a.m. You oh, know, like... Goodness. Have, like, P.E. I guess. You know, wake yourself up. Have some gym. Have a little gym. 8 a.m.? Maybe maybe, maybe uh, do, instead of a lunch hour, a breakfast hour. A breakfast hour? Yeah. No science class at that time. <laughs> no, no. You don't want no chemicals that's, flying around at 8 a.m. That's how schools blow up, when people just mix random chemicals, right. and there you go. All right, maybe you're on to something. I, you see? We'll see, though, but, I mean, we can't fit everybody in these art, art rooms at 9 a.m. It's, it's too many people. We could try. We could try, but it'd be, t- it'd be, t- it'd be chaos. It'd be a massacre. Isn't school chaos already? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Speaking of schools, I own a news here. Career and internship... Inter- in- nah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Career and internship expo today from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. It will be held at the Heinz Athletic Center, Heinz Gym. Uh, professional attire is aqu- required, so do not come in jeans and a T-shirt like myself. Mm. I am not going, but if you need to uh, have an example, use me. Um, bring a resume. Definitely doesn't hurt. Maybe even a cover letter if you want. Uh, take a look at several jobs and internships and opportunities. Um, can't go wrong. Good stuff. Yeah. It's never. It's never a bad idea to go look. Yeah, you gotta love the, uh, you know, the ability here to go talk to maybe some future employers. Yeah, definitely. Uh, they bring them to you, which is nice. Exactly. Very nice. And it's good to start early, especially if you're a sophomore like myself. Start early as a sophomore. Try to look at internships because right away, once you're done with college, you want those job opportunities. Exactly. As, as you know, since you're a sophomore, your pr- perspective on things are you? Because when I was a sophomore, I was definitely thinking of okay, I need to start getting gear. I need to declare my major. You know, are you as panic stricken as I was as a sophomore, going okay, I need to declare a major. That's going to set. You know, it may not be the major I need, but like you know, what I'm saying like, were you anxious? Are you panic stricken like I was like oh god you know not not really but last semester I was a little bit panicking because it came down was do I want to be a journalism major or do I want to go into TV and video and probably go into TV being a video. producer hmm. and I went with TV video ah, yes but I, mean, I, I want to graduate from here get a get a degree and become a producer and possibly have a radio show with Jersey Joe hey hey <laughs> Jersey Joe, big shot, Rob sticking together, folks. It's 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 making me teary eyed. I'm not gonna oh. lie. It's giving me giving me a little oh. emotional. Good morning. It's, it's, yeah, good morning to yeah. everyone here at the morning show. Um, Jersey Joe's a uh, sophomore as well. Yeah. God, you're babies. Yeah, they, they yeah. Young. younger than me. Today, Common Hour at 12, head over to Robert V. LaPenta Student Union in the lobby. The Hellenic Society will be having a bake sale. Yes, yummy bake sale. Love Some myself cupcakes. a good bake sale. Love yourself a good bass. <laughs> Love myself a good bass. <laughs> Ken Reichman, everyone. <laughs> also today at 12, in, uh, go to the Student Union uh, 
Robert Vila, Pennsylvania Union, uh, McGrath A. The Office of Campus of Off Campus Housing will be having a meeting for students to learn more about what you need to know before moving off campus. The meeting will also t talk about how office campus housing can help students out. Definitely go to this event if you're yeah. off campus. Yeah, definitely. Um, you want to be helped out as much as possible. You know, it's no. You want to no. make sure you're following the law. Oh yeah, make sure that's, you're, not, that's, you're not going that's crazy one. out there. You, know, you got plenty of housing, uh, you know, realtors out there who will tell you one thing's allowed and until the police knock on your door and then you find out that it's not. So and definitely take advantage of this meeting. Yes, and Michelle Nelson up there. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Michelle Nelson up there in the Office of Off-Campus Housing. She won't steer you down the wrong path. Of course not. And uh, today at 7 p.m., women's basketball team take on Niagara University. Come out and support your Gales as they look to win their 23rd game of the season and look to improve their 16-1 record in the MAC Conference. The ladies are in first place in their conference. Very nice. Uh, which is, you know. Very nice. Gotta love the Gales. That one loss to Ryder. They yeah. bounce back right away. Yeah, that was a fluke. <laughs> let's let's not talk about that. We also got a coffee house tonight. Go to the coffee house at nine p.m. Be held at Spellman Hall. Spellman Hall. Usually, don't they do that in, in the yeah? They used end to zone. do it in the end zone, but this this event is humongous. People love the coffee house. Um, That's true. It's always been packed when I go. Yeah. To, when so I they, uh, last semester they moved it over to Spellman. It was still packed. Uh, it's a great event. Great time. Hang out. Listen to some really talented gales, and. Uh, you know, I heard Big Shot Rob's gonna be there singing the tune. Oh boy! Oh no, I, I have the, probably the worst singing voice ever. Nah, come on! I don't believe you. Oh, I can't sing for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe back in eighth grade when I did plays, that's about. Ah, it. oh, we got a, we got a drama ah. kid in the house here. What kind of plays do you do, Rob? I we got did it. The Wizard of Oz in eighth grade. <laughs> <laughs> what were you? You were the Tin Man, weren't you? Yeah, I was the Tin I Man. Knew <laughs> I the tin knew he was the Tin Man. <laughs> he was the Tin Man. You know, speaking of Mugabe, uh, Ken and I went to uh, the city on Theater Row. Uh, I think it's 410 West 42nd. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we went to the Lion Theater, and we saw a, a terrific production of Breakfast with Mugabe. Uh, yeah, it was good. I don't know if I'd put terrific in front of it, but it was good. Well, we'll... we'll if it was you up there, you would want people to think it's terrific. Well, yeah, but not they if, put a lot uh, of work not if I was lying to them. But, the um, lion theater, huh? Yeah, <laughs> very nice, right. very nice. Good play. Yeah, Overall good it play. It was good play. I mean, if if you could go for free, go. Oh, yeah, but don't spend... Don't, don't spend too much on it. Yeah, no, I don't. I agree with that. Yeah. Um, for people who don't know who Mugabe is, Robert Mugabe was the president of Zimbabwe at one time. Is, is he still? I Is he still, you know, not to be disrespectful, alive? I don't. I honestly, if I paid attention at all in acting class, then I'd know. I don't. But even in acting, I was paying attention. They didn't specify if he was oh. still in power or not. Um, but Who yeah, knows? it's about a, uh, just a little brief synopsis about a uh, a uh, president of Zimbabwe um, speaking to a psychiatrist about various things about the country, and let's just say it gets intense. It does get intense. There, there's a fight scene. There's blood. There I, is a fight scene. In, I've never yeah. seen that. Yeah. No. It was very. It was. It was good. It was very good. The ending was good. The middle was good. The beginning was pretty bad. Yeah, it took it took a while to start off. It didn't. Yeah, it was hard to keep yourself involved th through the first hour. Oh yeah, well, <laughs> I feel like with any, I feel like with any play that doesn't catch you in the first second, it takes a while to start yeah. up. I mean, there's probably some people there that like caught them right then and there, and the whole play was terrific to them. Yeah, I'm sure it was. Um, it wasn't a bad play. Don't get me wrong. By any no. stretch. It was it was very well put together. Good acting as well. Definitely. Well, you're listening to the WICR Morning Show here with Ken Reichman and I.P. Considori. And we have Big Shot Rob's producer in studio right now. Uh, up next will be weather and sports. So stick around. We'll see you in a bit. Hey, everyone. I'm Pete Considori, WICR president and MassCom senior. There's great things happening in MassCom. Check out NorthAvenueNation.com for the latest student work. North Avenue Nation covers things happening on and off campus, featuring terrific interviews by MassCom students with Eli Manning, Victor Cruz, Bernie Williams,